I'll be doing a front brake pad change on a Ford KA 2002. So the first thing you've got to do is remove this tyre, so get it off, easy job. So here we have the caliper, so yes, to remove the caliper, you've got to remove two bolts, they're actually hex bolts, you see, yeah, if you go there with a spanner, it's not going to work. So what you've got to do, you've got to remove the bung, because they've got bungs on there, to stop the uh, the bolt from getting dirt in it and stuff like that. So yeah, you've got to, if you haven't got them, you have to go to DIY, B&Q, whatever they call themselves now, and for about six quid you can pick up a set of these little um, hex bit sockets. They're actually for free eight, for a free 8 spanner, a uh, ratchet, but I managed to get an adapter so I can actually use my half inch spanner on it and just yeah, ratchet away as normal. So yeah, what um, I normally do, I normally loosen the top one and take the bottom one out fully. In this case I couldn't, so, but yeah, you'll see that later on. So something I ain't seen in a while is uh, the retainer clip, so that's got to be prized out, so you want to get a flathead screwdriver and just prize them out. Take your time and watch your eyes. So okay. yeah, once I've managed to uh, loosen out the bolts there, so as you can see there, I can start to see the thread coming through. That's when I know that it's getting nice and loose. For some reason, I couldn't do use my normal te technique of uh, undoing the top one a bit, taking the bottom one out fully to swing it up. It just wouldn't work. So yeah, I use my uh, 7mm hex bit there to take it out, and I've managed to take out the top and bottom. So now all I'm going to do is try and hit out the brake caliper. All right, so yeah, as you can see, I couldn't use my normal technique. I actually had to take out the um, caliper and rest it in a position where it was not stressing the brake lines. As you can see, as some of the pads over time do get a bit stuck and a bit rusted in, so use a screwdriver to prise it out and then use a hammer to whack it out. Either way, be careful and be very careful of your discs. So yeah, now as you can see, I've managed to take out the outer brake pad. The inner brake pad is actually held in, into the piston with a clip, which is just you've got to just pull the brake pad nice and straight, which I probably didn't do in this video. Pull it nice and straight and it should come straight out. So as you can see here, this is the clip that was held in. There's nothing special, which just three little clips on there that just allow it to, not to rattle around and to keep it in place. So remember, when you're putting your new pad on, you want to make sure that the clip goes in the same way that the old one was in and that everything's on nice and tight and it's not rattling around too much. Easy. Alrighty then, so now what you want to do, you want to match up your pads, make sure that they're the right size and that they fit and all that, so you want to make sure that they match the old ones that were in, and also you want to make sure that the pad, the inner pad that's going to actually fit onto the uh, piston, you want to make sure the clip is nice and secure, the clip isn't loose, and make sure it just, it just goes in the same way that you managed to take the old one out, it just goes in the same way, easy job. So now as you can see, final part, I've put a bit of copper grease on the back of the pads to stop them from seizing up and stop the rattling. So now all I'm going to do is push the piston back in with my G-clamp and my trusted piece of wood. So yeah, that's the G-clamp and that's the bit of wood I'm going to place in front of the piston and apply the pressure with the G-clamp. Easy job. So as you can see here, I've got my uh, outer pad. I'm going to make sure that fits on nice and snug and then get my inner pad with the clip on it and push it into the, the piston because the piston has been flattened now. Nice and straight. So this Easy. is what I've left with here. I've got my new pad there, pushed it back into the piston. And then here, I've got my other pad sat in, just how I like it, nice and flat. So I'm going to push that in nice and flat. And all I've got to do now is put the caliper back on. I'm going to put my hex bolts back in. I should that everything seated correctly. I've got my uh, pads in there nice and snug. I've got my, uh, my rear one in my, on, the, on the inside, nice and snug in there in the piston. And I've just got to put these bolts back in now. Easy. So with my hex, all I'm going to go, I'm going to go anti-clockwise to tighten. So it's going to look like I'm loosening, but in fact I'm tightening, and then that's job done. Easy. Put the tie back on. Love it. Once that's done, all you need to do is put the caps back on that you took off to get access to the bolts. Put your tie back on, turn the engine on, and then press the brake pedal a few times just to make sure the piston goes back in place. Subscribe, share, and like. Bye.